what's up YouTube um so yeah this video is gonna be um programs to use to overclock um I'm making this video because the video I posted about my successful overclock to 4.4 gigahertz um has got a couple quite a bit of views so well a lot for me since I don't have many subscribers but but um yeah I just wanted to sh uh, show you the uh, programs I like to use um, in the video I think I was using Prime 95 but I've changed it up since then um, so the first one you want to use is right here which is CPID um, hardware monitor and what this does is just um, gauges your temps and so you get to keep a good eye on your temps when you're overclocking because you don't want them too high or you you could fry something, but usually computers nowadays have like a safety thing where if it gets too high or too hot, it'll shut your computer off. But yeah, um, this shows every temp you possibly need and how fast your fans are going and the voltages. So, um, yeah, this is a really good one. Uh, CPU ID hardware monitor. Um, and I'll have uh, links in the description where to download these. Um, the next one is right here, which is CPU Z, and this shows you um, pretty much information on your CPU, your caches, your mainboard, your memory, your SPD, your graphics card, and just about the program itself. But um, so what you want to look out mainly here is right here is your core speed, and when you're stress testing it, you want to see what it's at, and that's what it's at so like right here is this is its stock it's 3.30 gigahertz and right now it's at 3.3 um, 9 gigahertz or th th uh, 3392.7 megahertz um, and the third program I like to use is um, Intel burn test now you can either use this or Prime, Prime 95 it's usually opinion but I like this because it stresses your CPU more with Prime 95 I think it st stresses your RAM a little bit more so um, with this one you can do maximum very high high standard and custom standard um thread whatever output results so results dot log I'm gonna do that threads or I think Start. There it goes. And you can see it moving. Well, let's stop this. Let's go to high. Start it on high. And. You see the temps going up a little bit because it's starting to get stressed or fluctuating and you know, my computer is slowing down a bit sorry about that I'm gonna stop it yeah so um yeah those are your three programs um with Intel burn test I probably run it on high and do f eh, five to ten runs I guess if you have more RAM though you could do very high oh, I only have like four gigs I need more I know <laughs> I don't have money though but um yeah there's that um I did underclock my CPU back to um stock because I was having some issues like uh, freezing issues I think and um my screen would really get all pixelated when I booted it up, and it was really weird. I've never seen it before, but I think I solved the issue with my V core being too high on one of the clocks, and so yeah, I gotta fix that. But um, yeah, these are the three programs I like to use when o um testing my overclock and making sure it's stable. Um, again, you can also use Control Delete and well, pop. Control Delete Task Manager and this I just like to have keep it up. Go to per performance. I like to keep that up just to know that 
my CPU is being stressed so if you start this you see it climbing to 100 percent and I know it's being stressed so yeah um and yeah, that's about it um if you have any questions or leave a comment just yeah leave a comment down below um thumbs up if you thought it was very helpful and subscribe because I will have more videos out gaming related maybe some tech related stuff I don't know Okay, yeah. What kind of videos y'all want to see? I don't know. I don't have many subscribers, so I'm just trying to build a fan base. And yeah, so stay tuned for some more videos. And see y'all later.